And then so recently I started seeing someone it's like we're on like date three now and i like him he's like really nice i really like this guy actually every guy that's seeing her right now is like that's me yeah so like, oh my <laughs> gosh <laughs> like when i'm dating someone and i really like them i'm a constant like okay. hey good news i pet you're a dog. stage five <laughs> cleaner yeah. Yeah. Pet a dog. stage five cleaner you know? over here for sure yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like become a fan of the person you're dating <laughs> <laughs> that's weird <laughs> Wow, you're fucking mean. I'm like a talker. So okay, so you're such okay. an asshole. Nikki. <laughs> See, I need other people's opinions to be like, where do I? Like, it's like, like 15 minutes. I would ask one one one. One, right? Yeah, like I'm looking and like. Why I, would you look for 15 minutes? It's happened. Ask someone. So you yeah. don't shit yourself. I could. Well, if, what if I have to shit and I ask someone like, to show me and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta go. <laughs> you are a strange little thing. Wow. Welcome back to Big Mood, everybody. We are here, the four of us, mm-hmm. together again. Like Yay. Power Ranger. I don't know, there's five of them. Like um, <laughs> friends. Oh, that's six. Ninja months. Turtles. Uh, Ninja oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the Is planet? Captain Planet? What? I was thinking about that, too. Earth, wind, Earth fire, wind. water. I think there's heart, though, too. That's oh, five. Oh, yeah. Heart, <laughs> nobody wants to be heart. heart. makes no sense. Which, one, make which sense? one are each of us? <laughs> Instead of Spice Girls, <laughs> which one? Are, you're Earth. You're definitely not a heart. <laughs> I'm water, for sure. I'm a water baby. <laughs> a fire? I uh, love water. You're, you're fire. You're 100%, fire. Because you can 100%. actually breathe fire. Tiff's water. Tiff's, I'm water. Tiff's mm-hmm. earth. <laughs> sure. Yeah, am I really good? Which one am I? I'm none of them. Air? No, you're I'm not. The one no, floating you're floating more earth. You're more grounded. You think? You think Jess is grounded? <laughs> <laughs> you're wind. You're wind, bitch. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, you're grounded. You're, you're earth. <laughs> okay. You could be heart, but I'll nobody wants it. to be heart, so <laughs> I don't want to give that to um, you. I'm Maybe heart. I am heart. <laughs> Okay, I guess everyone wants to be hard. Wow, I'm wow. Kidding. Anyway, I just what, do the what Captain of what Planet said. character is your favorite? Leave us a comment. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and wow. that's the end of the episode. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You, the YouTube really doesn't leave you, does it? We right? used to, um, no, exactly. <laughs> we used to have like green pops when I was a kid and pretend oh, to be the little. Your toes oh, are yeah. so I cold. Know, yeah. cold. I don't know why. <laughs> Poor Steve. My extremities night. get cold because <laughs> you don't have a heart. <laughs> Some water, bitch. Oh my God. I'm the Atlantic. I'm the cancer here so i'm the scorpio you. we're way more water than cancers uh, i'm a crab literally in the water i know but like of the that, water signs it makes me angry that aquarius is, is not a water, water. Yeah, yeah, why? yeah that's we're really annoying aquarius. i know in scorpio it should be desert or yeah. something but we're that's water a, well we're like the wateriest of the water signs well desert isn't a thing or earth i guess would that be? Yeah. yeah. But, Should be a dark sign. I feel like scorpions we remind me of fire, though. Like, they feel, remind me of, like, tequila and fire. <laughs> yeah, and they make me think yeah. of dirt. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, so I started dating again. <laughs> you're fucking dirt. Yeah, I want to hear this. Yeah. I want to hear some daily, interesting about shit. Dating. Is it you're you, actually dating? Did you think about that? Because Jess said she was a crab. And, you... <laughs> and she's all crabby. <laughs> yeah, that. Sure. So your dating life is not going well. Tell me about it. Well, not that it's going well. It's just that I'm rusty now. Oh. Why are you rusty, bitch? You've barely been out of the dating game. I don't know how to... I don't. I just don't know how to like flirt or. How'd you meet? Was it like uh, one of the dating app things, or was it like through actual? Are we talking about a Both. person or multiple people? Uh, I mean, like dating in general. I've been meeting people through friends. I tried dating apps for a little bit, and it's just like a series of first dates or mm-hmm. like a few dates, and then I'm like, eh. oh, I thought you met somebody. Um, no, I'm like in the middle She's, of like. Uh, in the process. Have you so, taken like, your solo dating. girl time? Because you're supposed to do a solo. Yeah, girl time. I only started dating, so I've been. Single since November. I only started dating around like this month. Okay. Yeah. November was recent. No, that's not. That was like seven, six months ago. I don't know. I'm like, I'm just dipping my feet in the water again. Yeah. Like I went on a first date with this one. I think it's because I'm a lot more picky and critical now. Yeah. Because fuck people. Girl. Mm-hmm. Cause Cause I'm so critical you now. You have standards. You're following oh, in my oh. footsteps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like the first time i went on a date your eyes are her. open to the reality of yeah man. seriously oh sorry, taking the sorry, what is it red pill <laughs> taking the red pill yeah uh this one guy he wouldn't he, he just didn't blink when he talked oh <laughs> weird like, okay and then like whenever his eyes are all red and watery <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like you're so beautiful i can't stop looking at you he read yesterday that eye contact's important yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what she's gonna say <laughs> He forgot to bleed. <laughs> Someone gave him a note like, you need to make more eye contact. He's just like, he doesn't drop it ever now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then like, I, and then whenever I said something, he would explain it back to me. What? Whoa. Yeah. Huh? Like, 
Oh, maybe he's got like a thing. Yeah, maybe that's what like I was a, thinking. I don't know. A little spectrum or something. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, give an example. Okay, so ask me what fa- my, uh, uh, what's your favorite color? Uh, teal. Teal, yeah, that's a really nice color because it looks like the sky and stuff. I can see why you would like that because like it's a really natural color. Like oh. he's explaining to you stuff. Yeah, and I'm like, I know someone like that. Yeah, I know someone like name that. It gets old real quick. Yeah, drop, drop the name. And oh, like, you don't know. Bro, oh, chill. You know this person. Darn. So then, like, I've learned to cut off people a lot easier now <laughs> you know. too. Like, I'm not much of a people pleaser anymore, so I'm kind of like, eh, I don't like you. So I just texted him. I was like, hey, you know, you're cool, but I didn't, I didn't really feel a romantic connection. He's like, okay, that's cool. And the next one. Um, so what would you have done previously to this? It's pretty normal. Yeah. Oh, just like text. <laughs> no, I'll like, oh, just talk and text. It's like I tried this new thing. Have you yeah. heard of it? It's like, like where I just tell people, like, yeah, just tell people yeah, what would you do thing. before? Originally, it was just like, I'll text you and then I'll just kind of just... Then uh, I'll just kind of quietly disappear. That's, like, just ghost people. That's annoying. Yeah. Yes. Thank you for not being annoying. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, the person after that spent, like, 20 minutes talking about NFTs. I'm like, okay. Oh, yep. Cool. And I'm, Guys don't know that that's not romantic talk. That's, like, talk with your buds, or if I ask you about it, yeah. let me know. But this is not how to get into my pants. No, but it's fine. Mm, let I them just, go yeah, off. I just, I let them go disagree off. disagree with that <laughs> because... It will naturally filter people out, like because if you were yeah. into NFTs, whoa, you found yourself. There we go. Like yeah. so, that, that's what I, I feel like. For but you, me, but the conversation at dinner could be like, "I'm really into NFTs," and the girl could be like, "Cool, I'm cool. not." And then now we can talk about something else. Yeah, that's and then true. If you yeah. really did, need you a express girlfriend. disinterest in it, or did you make it sound like you're interested? I was like, "Oh yeah, that's cool." That's about it, really. Yeah, and he just oh, okay. kept going. And he kept Probably. going. Yeah, I can and then that. just like his whole entire thing is NFTs. Maybe, Maybe he heard. He <gasps> yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then so recently I started seeing someone, it's like we're on like date three now and I like him. He's like really nice. I really like this guy actually. Probably mm. my favorite one. Okay. And then I realized I don't know how to text anymore. <laughs> Why? Because you actually like this one? Or, yeah, because I actually like this okay. one. Okay. Why do you like him? Um, uh, he, he is, could be gone by the time this comes out. But right. Yeah. So. Who knows? He's like, he's really sweet. He, uh, we Plus met- every guy that's seeing her right now is like, that's me. Yeah. So like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> They're um, all five of you. It could be yeah. you. <laughs> Just kidding. So, no, there is only one because yeah. I'm, I'm too lazy to deal with people. I know. You can barely even have friends. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, Always the like, shade. <laughs> And it's like, he's so nice and he's a very calming. She is wearing them. <laughs> yeah. He's, he has a very like calming energy, which yeah. I really enjoy. You need that. Mm-hmm. He's older. He's like 37. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he's, he is old. God, he is so He's fucking almost retiring. You know, I'm the eldest. I'm about to be 36. <laughs> older I'm older than me. I didn't say he's old. He's older than me. He's older. That's all. That's what I'm saying. He's older. He said he's older. Yeah, older. Yeah, I think older a little means older. Like I was like forty uh, 40s, something. Yes. Oh, like ten years older than you. Or I am not eight years older. He's you. still older. Um, <laughs> yeah, Steve's older than me too. He's By, like six months <laughs> older than me. <laughs> <laughs> I would say Casey's older than me because he's like two or three years older than you. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But, so count. Like, you would call him an older man. I would say yeah, he's, he's older. Like, he's older. I would say he's older. Fuck no. You no. are literally older than if you're me. born. Yeah, they're yeah. Everyone yeah, they're has their own interpretation. Okay. Okay. I agree with Gina. Uh, I would have said y'all are being Casey's literal. older. Yeah, being so y'all literal are being about. so literal. The old people are getting worked up. They are. They're getting <laughs> triggered. <laughs> So old. Not even friends with you. <laughs> what else about this guy besides his ancient body? Yeah, just because someone has a health insurance doesn't mean they're old, Gina. <laughs> um, I like him because he's like a very calming energy. He's like the very like nurturing. I realize my type of guy that I can I can finally put it into words easier now. It's my type of guy is the don't worry I got I got or don't worry I got her or don't worry I'll take care of it. Sugar daddy. No, no, no not like okay, just sorry. monetary. Okay, just like more like. Oh yeah, okay. attentive. Yeah, or yeah, we can go to dinner. I made reservations for tomorrow. I'll pick you up at seven. Be ready. Mm, you know, like they yeah. you together. Oh, you mean you're Take not getting a child? Anymore. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he's. Yeah. But the thing is, like, I don't know how to talk to people anymore. Once I what like do you them. mean you don't know how to talk? Once to I people. like them, it's like. So what are you saying now? No, because once I like them, I'm like, why? It's to me in my head, it's like, why aren't you fucking obsessed with me? I'm out. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, so sabotage. No, I'm more like, oh, like I don't like. He didn't text me good morning today. What? what? You know, How many dates have you been okay, on? Okay, what? I've been on two dates. Gina. So I know. Oh my See, God. I don't understand <laughs> timelines anymore. You know what he's saying? He's like, yeah, she's a little young. Like, I mean, she's just, she's younger, but she's also young for her age. Like, <laughs> yeah, right? She wants to get like, good morning text. I literally just about this bitch. Right? <laughs> I don't understand 
timelines anymore? Wait, do you tell him this? You're like, no, well, I don't good tell him morning. this. Okay, well, no, awesome. can, we, can we, okay, give me another thing. What's, what else? Because that's just crazy. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what else about what? Like, what, what makes you feel like you don't know how you to, you know, like, I don't want to agree with Jess and I have I to know. agree with Jess right now. <laughs> you know, like, oh, like, that's do I too text much. too much? Like, hey, I just got off work. How you doing today? How's your day? You know, like, is it too much? Is it too uh, little? Am I like, how do, How often are we supposed to see each other? Well, how does Why he don't you let to him lead it though? Yeah. He does. Like sometimes he, but he's like one of those like quiet Korean guys, you know? So I'm like, I don't know if I should. Do you feel like you need to do more than you would do with your friends? No. Okay. You mean more than nothing? Yeah. <laughs> what is more than nothing? What is more than zero? Yeah. I was just like, I don't know how to. Um, I think you should just let him. Like especially since you, you want this. him to take yeah. the initiative and he's older. overall yeah you, you gotta, gotta have that to opening mommy. that's true well he planned the first date I planned the second one so no I was... planned the first one he planned the second one now this one's mine I'm gonna see what happens after the third date you guys are taking turns yeah what do so you guys he, do what do you want him to text you every morning and say good morning oh, who's high maintenance now that's <laughs> <laughs> true that's what I'm saying she's oh, like high maintenance, high maintenance in a relationship, relationship. yeah, yeah I'm high I don't think I'm high maintenance we are in a relationship did you not know this but I don't think I'm in a relation. I don't think I'm high maintenance at all because I don't. Not even in your relationship. Yeah, like yeah. I don't expect that when he does it, it's really sweet. Yeah. But I just don't like think about it. Like mm -hmm. if he didn't do it, I wouldn't be like, "Where's my good morning text?" Sometimes he'll leave to LA and like he won't text me for like three days, or like or he'll Facetime me oh, at okay, night. Oh, nuts! And then he'll be like, um, "Steve's I'll be, not cheating." Oh, oh, like, oh, I know, but they're married. Like this. Yeah, is a I'll, different, I'll yeah. call him and I'll be like, "Hey, I'm thinking about you." And like, "Oh my god, I've been thinking about you all day. I thought you were playing poker, so I didn't want to bother you or whatever." Like sometimes he does call yeah. me during poker, and I'll be like, "I'm in pocket playing poker. I'll call you later." Um, so yeah, I just, I guess, I just don't think about. Well, also because that. you guys have been married for like 500 years. But even years, when we were dating, new. oh, like I don't. I guess like if I texted a person and they didn't respond back quickly enough mm -hmm. like yeah within like if 18 a, hours yeah by, exactly yeah, if it was like oh, the mm -hmm. next day and you guys freak out after 18 hours mm, yeah yeah how long for you 30 minutes how long <laughs> is long gina <laughs> oh, you're on the spot aren't you wow no maybe like a couple hours uh -huh. A couple uh -huh. hours, hours too. Is that is that short? Is that That's not a little yes. bit? Yeah, it's a little short. Well, well, you you at least actually, like what hours. if they're in the middle of pattern. doing something? You need to know their pattern of their yeah. life. Though. Yeah, right. yeah. So. They're texting uh, consistency. True, true, I guess. true, true, true. So it's when the pattern. Like, doesn't yeah when the pattern yeah. breaks. That's yeah, when that's when something's so up. So I think that's what I'm trying to figure out right now because me, like when I'm dating someone and I really like them, I'm a constant. Like, okay. hey, good news, I pet You're a dog. You're a stage five <laughs> cleaner. Yeah. 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 Stage five cleaner you know? over here for sure. Yeah. Or like, I'm in just like, like how you can tell when I like someone when I'm just like, what you doing? You know, like, I just want to know like, what's going on. Like, hey, what's mm. up, what you doing? It's a little much. You know, okay, fine, shit. Dear Maybe journal, a Gina has yeah. never liked me. <laughs> No, yeah. I never once. Like, Gina <laughs> literally ghosts me all the time. Yeah. I have to tell her, Gina, stop ghosting me. Yeah. <laughs> but in relationship, romantic relationships, okay. We're okay. in a romantic relationship. <laughs> I romantically love you. I jack okay, off so to maybe... you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a one way romantic yeah. relationship with me. <laughs> See how We're it feels. We're with you, bitch. <laughs> See how but, it feels. That's <laughs> needy. They're so needy, gross. <laughs> You might become a fan of the person you're dating. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> wow, you're fucking mean. I'm like a talker. So okay, so you're such okay. an asshole. Nikki. <laughs> See, I need other people's opinions to be like, where do I, you know, like how mm -hmm. do I? Am well, I, this could happen in our group chat if you ever yeah, decided you to fucking just just participate. It's true. This is true. You got to take true. the average of our three answers, and you'll get the right answer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Or just pick mine because it's yeah, no, <laughs> good. it's pretty good. You yeah, have two married like, people and a very woke person. <laughs> okay, you're good. Oh, you're so woke. <laughs> <laughs> but so you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm figuring out dating again, especially after like the whole like big eye opening trauma and everything that happened. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm trying to learn, you know, how to do things break your pattern yeah. healthily. Now. Oh, I know why you called them older now because I was like, oh yeah, her past two boyfriends were like 24. <laughs> Oh, oh like yeah, they're, like, they're twenty one. This much older. They were man. younger. Yeah. Oh wait, were they both younger? No, 30s. one of them was only like a few months younger than oh, me. Oh, that doesn't count. But he acted like he was fucking twelve. No, yeah, he that, definitely yeah. that mentally he was in twenty four. Yeah. So yeah, but then you know, I'm just trying to figure that out, and um, just you know, I I would 
go on dates and then just date one person at a time. And I'm like, yeah, it's not gonna work. And then I'll try someone else. But also at the same time, I'm like, eh, if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. And it's kind of cool, you yeah. know? Because I'm so fucking busy it now. It doesn't matter. But yeah. I want to know how you're so busy and still like want to text him 24 seven and need him to reply within two hours. Because yeah. when it comes to filming, it's just lots of sitting around breaks. waiting. <laughs> little breaks. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. And he still ghosts me. Tip, <laughs> she's taking notes for when you don't respond to her. <laughs> <laughs> she's like yeah i saw your text yeah i got it <laughs> and what her text messages like gina i need you to read this ad okay she's I like know. i don't want to do work while i'm at work <laughs> I know. no that's true the one like the times that i have texted you for not work related you do respond really yeah quickly. so clearly she doesn't want to do work yeah, yeah clearly she just don't want to do work <laughs> yeah but yeah. yeah so i'm just trying to figure that out and like you know like do i talk to people more do i don't but it's been it's been an interesting you know i've, I've i'm having fun just meeting new people Mm-hmm. you know okay. um and it's just nice to just like okay i know what i want what i don't want you know so it's 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 been, it's been fun today's episode is sponsored by honey the easy way to save when shopping on your iphone or computer thanks to honey manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past honey is a free shopping tool that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds in your cart here's how it works When you're shopping on one of your favorite sites, at checkout, the Honey button appears and all you have to do is click Apply Coupons. Wait a few seconds as Honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. If Honey finds a working coupon, you'll watch the prices drop. Honey doesn't just work on desktop, it also works on iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari and your phone and save on the go. I like to shop online a lot because I don't really like to go outside and every time I check out, there's always a Honey button there and it lets me save so much money because it finds coupons like first customer coupons or holiday coupons for me without me having to search for it. If you don't already have Honey, you could be straight up just missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting the show. The best part is it's free. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash bigmood. That's joinhoney.com slash bigmood. So in the last few years, we've had to cancel a few too many get togethers with friends, but not this year. Okay, we're back, baby, and it's time to party. So you better return like a hero with something delicious. Something delicious from Milk Bar. For those of you who don't know what Milk Bar is, oh my God, get with it because it's like the best tasting desserts ever. I've had uh, a few of their products. I've had their cookies, their birthday cake cookie, especially, holy moly. Um, But most recently, their strawberry shortcake truffles. Oh my gosh, you put it in the fridge, you pop them out when you want something sweet and you cannot stop. Uh, you Maybe you should stop. They do a good job of packaging them in like sets of three, so maybe you don't eat the whole thing, but oh my gosh, I brought them to a barbecue the other day. It was a, a swimming pool party and um, everyone's bringing like beers and stuff. You know what I brought? Milk bar. Milk bar, strawberry shortcake truffles, and everybody loved me. That's right. Milk bar is the perfect gift for anyone and everyone in your life from birthdays to graduations to summer cookouts or just because. Hey, why not? I eat them just because. Every Milk Bar creation is made fresh and then thoughtfully and beautifully packaged so it arrives in perfect condition, ready to enjoy. They offer fast, even overnight, nationwide delivery. And right now, Milk Bar has a special limited time offer. Get $10 off any order of $50 or more when you go to milkbarstore.com slash bigmood. You'll get 10 bucks off an order of $50 by going to milkbarstore.com slash bigmood. Milkbarstore.com slash bigmood. Mood. Nice. What is your definition of like someone being obsessed with you? And wouldn't that turn you off after a little bit? True. Why are you doing Where's it? Where's your line? Why are you doing oh, it? Oh, you mean like what I said earlier? Yeah, you like you're oh, like, no, I want I'm, them to be obsessed with me. No, no, no. no I'm kidding yeah. about that. Not like, oh, what are you doing? I want to be there every day. Else. Yeah. Not like no. not like Joe from you. Not like show. Joe from you. Okay. But more like, I miss you. Like, let's hang out this weekend, like make plans, like constantly making plans and like doing this and whatever, you know? You just want someone mm-hmm. to show general interest in you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Over yeah. time. Okay. Yeah. Not like I want to wear your skin. Yeah. You know? <laughs> no, <laughs> but like that's pretty common. Mm-hmm. But so you want them to text you every morning? I like. That's a little much. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's a lot. I do. That's. I'm that's just trying to like give them my like. Level. I'm the guy. Codependent. So I want to know yeah. like I just want to know what you're looking for so mm-hmm. that I can help you out on what to talk about. Well, for me, like it's a huge communication thing. So it's like. Yeah, I like good morning text. And I don't need you to respond to me like after or like if you just told me, hey, I'm going to be busy today, um, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll text you after work. I'm like, OK, cool. That's fine. You know, okay, what if I'm like, hey, I'm going to be busy today. I'll text you after work. And then I don't text after work. Oh, yeah. Don't like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. We got really busy. I forgot to text after work. Mm-hmm. Follow through. Because text messages only take a few seconds. And I know at one point in some time of the day you're shitting and you're sitting there with your phone in your hands. No. 
<laughs> I was working while I was shitting <laughs> <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> but yeah, like, maybe it's just because I'm a big texter. Mm. You know, when it comes to relationships. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to romantic relationships, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you're not fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what it takes but, to be your friend. Well, I mean, I literally <laughs> just had your nipples in front of my face yeah. today. That's true. And I drank your breast milk. Yeah, see? We, we exchange are, bodily fluids. We're, yeah, we we're in a very committed fluids. relationship. This is true. Yeah. This is true. This is true. <laughs> I'm not with you. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to analyze you, though. Do you think that you're really that big of a texture? Do you feel like you really just need validation constantly because you're afraid what they're doing? No, not based that. On what you're, based on what's happened to you? Mm, no, not Because, like, either. needing them to text you every single day. That would make all sense. All the time. I'm like, what? Why? And if they say, oh, I'm busy. I'll text you later. And if they happen not to, then your heart starts to race. And it's like, why? Yeah, like, it's like trauma from oh, betrayal. Oh, yeah, it might be, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm learning so much about myself. Yeah, mm-hmm. why. yeah especially if it goes a few hours, they said they were going to text you and then they mm-hmm. don't. You're just like, I don't like that because it probably like triggers you mm-hmm. from your trauma. Well, shit. You've, I mean, you've had se- a very long series of bad things happen to you in a mm-hmm. relationship, so mm-hmm. that might you be the can't let why. that kind of ruin it when you find like a good level-headed thirty-seven-year-old old man. Okay, so now <laughs> how do I like stop old. myself from overcorrecting? You know, yeah. right? So like, I'm trying to find that balance. I think still. it's like just whatever your initial reaction is, try to temper it and maybe mm-hmm. talk to someone else about it. Like first, yeah, yeah like maybe be like before. Reacting. So I'm feeling like this right now. Is this crazy right now? Like what? Like what? This is this is everything yeah. that's happened. This is what's leading up to it. And, maybe, and then if you know, maybe just kind of don't direct that towards him right now. Cause we're gonna scare him away. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No, I haven't. I've been like super chill about it, and it's cool. Like we're we're chill. Like he we were talking the other night, and I was telling him like sometimes I can't tell the difference between like. Does this person like me because of who I am or because of what I can give them? Mm-hmm. Or are they just nice to me and I have trouble I don't just think that, that I don't think that matters. I don't think you should focus on that. Yeah. Well, because we were just having that. Do, yeah. We were just having that like just <laughs> yeah. casual conversation. And he goes, Well, Gina, okay, well, I'll let you know right now. I like you. I was like, Oh, cool. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. You know, I just like open communication yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, what guy's gonna be like? I like you for what you can give to me. <laughs> no, but then no, because they can just gloss over it and be like, "True, oh, not yeah, answer that makes it. sense," and yeah. just not answer it. Oh. Uh, and so you up on it. So you were like waiting. To so see. were you <laughs> baiting? I'm like, you're like, yeah, I don't know. So you were baiting. <laughs> yeah, she was. <laughs> <laughs> She's a master baiter. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I guess. I'm do still you tend to, to do that to a lot? More. With your relationships, like, do you tend to find yourself like testing? No, no, because I don't baiting. like people doing that to me. I don't like mm. testing, and I'm a big, I am, I'm, I hate people who try to um, hint things because I will feign in- ignorance go, every yeah, time. Just say it directly. Yeah, yeah, I do not like that at all. Yeah, me neither. Um, mm-hmm. I like open communication. Just like, hey, like I'll tell people straight, like, hey, I like you, you know, and if it works out, it does. And if not, then whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's a really good point about the texting thing. I should probably look into that more. Yeah. And understand. What do you like dating, Jess? Because sometimes you have posted in the group t- a chat like, he said this, and like I f- I don't know. About, and you're kind of like over. I feel like you overanalyze text. What do you think? Like, do you still do that? What is your thought process when Are guys you, over text? Do you have an example? Of- okay, so if a guy is texting you too much, you're like, ooh, that's too much. Like that's like he's giving, he's doing too much. And then if they don't text you enough, you're like. Like, well, I said I didn't want him to text me very much, but now he's not texting very much. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that. Like yeah, a, I remember that yeah. that conversation. Someone in the was group texting chat. me too much. Do you remember when it was? I'm trying to think of who the guy was. I can't so remember. I can it was con- like context. in the Bones era. <laughs> the guy was texting me. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> so last fall. Because <laughs> 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 so in my head, it's like there's a magician. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the Bones. There was never actually a magician. There wasn't, but Steve we call him a magician. He was gonna disappear. His last yeah. name sounded <laughs> like Copperfield. Yeah. But it, so I didn't actually date a magician. Not anything against you. You know that it's not a serious relationship yet when your friends only <laughs> call him by his name. Yeah. 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 yeah, the French guy. The yeah, 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 yeah. You the French, French guy, the magician. <laughs> if I have to say who my favorite was, all of them. Funny dad, or what is it? Um, oh, the laugh daddy. Laugh daddy. He's actually picking up on Instagram now. I was like, damn, I missed that train. <laughs> no, I'm now you're feeding into the Jess is a gold digger. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's funny is like, they, they did that in Sex in the City, and I didn't think real people did that. But then I'm like, oh yeah, we'd actually do do that. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. yeah, like give um, uh, nicknames, nicknames for yeah. The, yeah. Well, at least all of mine. We don't give yeah. a nickname for your guys. 
Because I never really describe them. Yeah. And plus, you guys have only met like mine are friends. All, mine are right. all jokes. You don't, too. Yeah, you're doing all these like, guys are jokes. <laughs> taste different flavors. Yeah. You yeah. just kind of pick one and want them to be obsessed with you. Exactly. Yeah. So I just have one. So you guys know. I exactly just have a buffet. Is. So you guys need like a name. <laughs> yeah. yeah we do. Those stories are more fun. <laughs> like, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's like a drama that I. My favorite up was with. still the French guy. I think. Oh yeah. 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 I could feel that from you. Hmm. Because he was more grown. He was like the only one that felt like a grown ass man. Yeah. yeah. And, and I ruined he, it, I think, with my he behavior. He tossed you around. Mm. He did. Yeah. He did, yeah. Literally tossed you around. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, so the guy that she's talking about, I remember it was an incident thing. Oh, not incident, but like you were asking us if it sounded like he was lying about owning a house. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. Guy. Mm-hmm. He wasn't texting was me too much. Guy. I don't remember that No, part. then he wasn't texting you enough. But And then we were like, well, did you tell him you don't really like to be texted? And you're like, yeah, I told him I don't like texting about small chat. I don't like yeah, small, small chat. Yeah, small talk. Small talk. <gasps> I'm trying to remember. And then, but he wasn't texting you. Now he, weren't, he wasn't yeah, texting he, you at all. At all. Oh. oh, I think because like a week went by. And because he was like trying to text me every day, kind of like Gina, like text me every morning and then at lunch and then afternoon. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm okay. I that's am not normal. Work. Like that's a lot. Oh, like three, four times a day, and and then I, I was like, like it if I'm a, if I really like the guy, yeah, yeah. No, but I don't, don't, I don't need it. Like, yeah. it's really sweet when it happens, but I don't mm. like need it. Mm. I think it was, yeah, okay. So I think it was that he was, he was, yeah, he was just doing way too much when we hadn't even really like. We hadn't even created like a See, she said this bond didn't yet. He was like, yeah, he wasn't texting me too much. Yeah, he was doing. doing <laughs> much. I, didn't, I don't remember, she didn't remember that. Remember. I don't yeah. remember that. But it's I'm trying to get it to come back to me. But I yeah. think it was one week that this situation happened, so it didn't stand out to me as yeah. That's that was it, that guy's right. situation. It was just like this. Well, happened. you then you told him to calm down. I was just like, yeah, I don't really all. like texting so much. And then like you know, like a whole week went by and he didn't say anything at all. So I was like, okay, maybe I said it in a way that made mm-hmm. him think I didn't want him to text right. me ever, but oh. I just meant like reel it in a little bit, but yeah. he reeled it all yeah, the way over, <laughs> over and I was like, okay, fuck, how do you tell someone like, mm-hmm. don't text me every day because it's bothering me, but I do want you to still communicate every few days or something, but just only because like we were still no in the No wonder very, men very, think women are no, complicated. No, very, very, <laughs> I can't figure this shit out. <laughs> <laughs> it's, isn't it? What is the normal? math equation? Okay. Tell me the algorithm. This is chat. Okay, no, not chat, sorry, I'm, I'm in stream mode. Comments, yeah. tell us. How often is normal texting to you guys? What you guys prefer? In the first two or three weeks of meeting a brand new stranger, Uh you text like maybe like a day here, maybe a day will go by where you don't, and then a day again later, or a couple days, maybe like it'll like it'll escalate over time. Not I just met you on Friday and we're texting all day day. every fucking day Mm -hmm. now. Yeah, like that's too much. Yeah. So I'm like, maybe reel it back. (laughs) Let's talk a few times a week, Gina. That's too much. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> it's funny how the one because the, the ones that like don't that want to text oh, yeah. all the time with the friends <laughs> because we're friends are like we were yeah. not strangers yeah. because we're not fucking yeah. <laughs> We've evolved our relationship to text I see, often. I see, I see. I actually like you, so I want you Did to we talk to me. Not every day after we met. No, no. no. We but still we don't, don't text, text every, day. every day now. Yeah. It's like I'm just like no, yeah. why it never changes. There was a for period me. where yeah. we were texting every single day. There was a lot. Don't. Denying when me. the group chat, yeah, yeah. yeah. The group like chat every single day for months. Yeah, because we were someone always had something to say. Like there was always like topics popping off. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, because we were all new friends. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's true too. It was yeah. juicy times too. It was juicy times. It was juicy very juicy times. times. <laughs> it was the juiciest <laughs> of times. It was the worst of times. It's true. Well, but then like he said, um, he's like he told me he's like I tend to text a lot too, and then sometimes I wonder if I should. And, like bring it back and I was and like just well, really yeah. like, similar. No. and then I'm like no first of all and where yeah you know or maybe to him it's a lot yeah but to me it's well, not he maybe you know? he scared someone off before yeah maybe so he's like oh I texted her three times today maybe he dated off. Jess yeah, yeah. Right? maybe he dated Jess I yeah. do remember that Steve was the first guy that would text me back right away yeah like I was so used to guys just like taking that's the only reason forever. why you like him mm-hmm. that's the only reason <laughs> <laughs> but I was like it was just like the icing on the cake because it was like I already felt like he was my soulmate and one of the things that gave me a lot of anxiety with other guys was that they would take so long to respond mm-hmm. um and then with him, he like would always respond right away. And I was like, see, it's not, it's easy. Like, it's mm. easy to just respond right away. And it just made things so much easier. Like, cause we wouldn't talk forever. We just like, I would ha- say something silly, like an inside joke. And he would, and he would like do a little bit yeah. back, that's all I need. And that's, that's all. it. Yeah. yeah. I don't need a full conversation. So I do understand that part. Yeah. Like, if they take too long to respond, then I get like kind of annoyed. Not two hours, but like, unless it's just like a, Hey, I'm grabbing Starbucks. Do you want anything? And then they take two hours to respond. Like, yeah, yeah that's too much. But 
I think a reasonable amount of time. If they don't respond in a reasonable amount of time, I get really or scared. Or if they could just really never un- uh, anxious. Like, if they can just never keep the momentum, that feels right. like the relationship's growing. Yeah, like right. it just keeps kind of stop, start, stop. Yeah, start. that's what it is. Mm. It has been yeah. a good momentum. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I just don't think. I think like when guys do too much in the beginning, I feel like it's performative and it's love bombing, and I and I feel like I can see right through it. And, and there's so that like, too. Why are yeah. you like you're putting you're laying this on so thick? I'm like I don't like it. I feel like it's fake because number one, why would you be that like? doting and obsessed right away unless you like you just don't have healthy yeah that is really fake if you they just met you yeah right. yeah like with steve we had been friends for three years so it wasn't yeah. nothing was too weird because no. it was like he already knew me yeah so yeah so that's the other scary side of dating like if they are obsessed with me right away it's like it is love bombing you yeah know? yeah but then the pride part of me is like love me now <laughs> you, want, you want them to be obsessed yeah so it's it's yeah Dating's you want them to be secretly obsessed there you go so you do Enamored. want joe from you <laughs> yeah <laughs> Because he's always very particular about how cool he comes off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true, huh? But Joe? yeah, so, I mean, yeah. It's, still, it's still early on. Joe from you. It's, oh, you. It's still early on, so we'll see. I'm like, Joe the cat? <laughs> I'm obsessed with Joe the cat. Joe the cat, yeah. <laughs> I am Joe from you to Joe the cat. <laughs> <laughs> that's Just why watch him. peeing all over your shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's like me, mom. Yeah, he's being a Gina. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> What? Like him. So I'm like, are you realizing things like we're like, oh, I don't think like this is going to scare me off from a relationship. Like, is that are you still in that kind of headspace? Mm, no, I'm still in that kind of headspace where it's like there are certain things now because I'm so mm, hyper focused on what I want for my future and have a pretty clear vision of what I want for my future. that if I'm talking to someone and, and we does it just align? doesn't align. I'm yeah, like, oh, that's probably not going to work out. OK, so yeah. what what would work? for you um, like because it probably is not is it a guy with a nine to five or like what does it look like um no so, so i've always dated nine to fives and i'm open to the funny thing is like i'm open to creatives now but then creatives don't have the same lifestyle that i want necessarily what's the lifestyle style that you want i want my penthouse mm. you know what creative like i mean if they're successful yeah, yeah, yeah successful it's creative. but it's like it's a it's a it's a smaller pool mm. you know why because they have to be nerdy and um, the nerdy ones aren't successful and the nerdy ones too like it's a like there's a lot of things that I was there's that? a dust thing that oh. was flying. Like, <laughs> you fucking weirdo! Are you? It's like no I'm one like, loves nerdy, nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the way the best way you can explain it now is like I have a a clearer version of vision of what I want now that I've just become a lot more critical of the people that I meet, which I'm actually really thankful for that I like. I really like that a lot. <laughs> Thank you. It makes things go by You're so a much faster. You're now because, oh you, because you actually have standards. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm slowly learning. It's been nice. It's a yeah. nice good. growth process. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Damn, it's been so long since I've dated. I know, I'm literally sitting here. And, like, and even the talking, married couch, we're like, hmm. Even talking about like the beginning, I'm like, fuck, how did Casey and I text? I really don't remember. Right? You I can't remember. remember. I have a very kind of limited experience with people that I didn't know before going on a date with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you didn't date like strangers. No, yeah. Yeah. never. Mm-hmm. I don't think ever. Like, I feel in- like when you guys met too, like, were people really like texting all day every day, or was it still kind of like phones were a little remember. bit newer? Like, I, I mean, feel like like eight years ago, right? Yeah, did, like, weren't phones just invented when you started? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Jesus. No, but, no, but like, we I, still I like write like letters to each other. We were together. But I feel like <laughs> phones like are so much more in our life now than they were oh, like, no, like, no, like a decade no. ago. No, it was Y'all pretty. Y'all the sidekick? That was yeah, all for so. texting. That was way before we started. I started I, my Instagram in 2011. Yeah, we started dating in 2012. Mm-hmm. And so I oh, had yeah, there's plenty of time. Like, we, I had my iPhone already. I had I one too, but I remember like I didn't text that much back then. That was like 2007 to 9 is when yeah. the iPhone was like kind mm-hmm. of maybe Do you starting. remember us in the beginning <coughs> texting? I remember you used to flirt te- yeah, through text. Flirt a lot. I remember you used to do this cowboy bit. You'd be like, hey, they're pretty lady. And like, all this <laughs> shit. And I'd be like, uh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck, I don't know how to flirt back. I, I do remember when you had to download a separate keyboard for emojis and like not a lot of people were using them and I loved them and Steve hated them. <laughs> and so Wait, I would it always... come through on his side? No, because he had an Android. So it would just oh, be yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Question mark. Yeah. And then yeah. he finally switched over to an iPhone and he could see all the emojis yeah. I was sending and he's like, I hate it even more now. Yeah. <laughs> and now he sends emojis he all the fucking joy. time. That's, That's funny. funny. Yeah. Oh gosh, I just remembered. Um, So on <laughs> a guy that I had sex with a long time ago when I was younger. 
and then I like kind of always had a crush on super toxic type of guy. Um, I he added me on LinkedIn recently. Oh jeez! Oh. And so I was messaging him, or like I added, or I let him add me on LinkedIn. Right? Like it's like you approved, approved it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, like a week or two went by, and then I was like, hmm. So I messaged him back and was like, hey, long time no see, whatever. And then we messaged back and forth, and then I was like, this guy's always been so toxic. Like, he's like the guy that's Why'd like- Why'd you message your him? Guilty Hatton. pleasure? I guess because oh. I was just like, yeah, I was kind of like just poking at the bear a little bit. Oh, I see. Um, but turns out he admitted that he had a girlfriend. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh, so I backed off and I was like, well, if you're ever single, then why is let me he know. adding you? I don't know, girlfriend. <laughs> Weird. Uh, yeah, for calling your girlfriend, I love it. So he was, he was the cop. Do you remember that I fucked a oh, cop? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was the, joke yeah. That, the joke that we had at the beginning of the right. show. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, I was just like, oh, She was a cop fucker. She was a cop She fucked two cops. Right. Two? Was it two? You said two. You don't even remember. <laughs> Wait, who's the second two one? Two separate cops. You showed us pictures. You put them in the chat. I remember. Oh, no. It was that my first boyfriend became a cop. Oh, oh that's yeah. what happened. After we were oh. in high school. Like, I, I dated him in high school, so we called her a cop fucker. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but then oh. I specifically on purpose had sex with one. I have an update on uh, the recent guy that cheated on me. The lawyer? Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm like, oh. which one? <laughs> what the lawyer, the lawyer. I know, true. <laughs> the lawyer. Girl, there's oh, like I don't even care about that one. No, the lawyer. <laughs> um, the girl that he cheated on me with, mm -hmm. um, who I warned her, you oh, know. Oh, wait, you said this in the chat, Yeah. Right? Yeah, wait, yeah, what? Okay. No. I warned her because like when I found out that he was cheating on me with her, I remember how I messaged yeah. her and I warned her, but she, she was like, you. she didn't really believe me. She yeah. was kind of making excuses and she was kind of being kind of like a little bitchy about it. But, well, she was, she, but she was also like 24 she's years old. Yeah. She's a child. Yeah. Um, she messaged me a couple weeks ago saying, hey, I just want to reach out and say, um, well, my friends listen to your podcast and I do too. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and she goes, um, and I want to apologize for how I acted because you were right. You know, I, I kept seeing him and what you said started happening and I was just, you know. Just, yeah, no shit. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I was like, I mean, I hate to Did say you it, respond? But, oh, yeah. What'd you say? I said, I mean, I hate to say it, but I told you so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to say, you That's know? That's rough. Oh, she listened to us now? Sorry, girl. Yeah, sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm not sorry. But Don't be a dumbass. I told you so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she's like, Believe no. women. He's like, she, she was like, he was doing this and that, and he started fucking a 21-year-old. Oh, God, it's yeah. getting younger? Yeah. It's getting younger. What? This dude's like 32. Oh, the midlife crisis He should in. date younger girls. Based on mentally, how mentally, mentally yeah. like, yeah, immature yeah. he is. Yeah. When you say younger, that's like a good decade younger. Younger. She was like, yeah, you know. Um, <laughs> You'll never let it go. <laughs> she was like, she's like, I found out because, or I found out he was fucking her and wasn't using a condom because he told oh. me one day he had a UTI. Oh my god! Wait, Wait, you don't get UTIs from from that? Well, you got you can you right? Can. Like, can't you? No, a UTI. A guy? A guy can get Wait, UTIs. Wait, guys no, get no, UTIs yeah. where they're less common. They they're hurt less common. really bad. Yeah. Yeah. So he had a UTI, but it's not sexually transmitted. It just so happened. But I guess he freaked out and he told her. He's like, hey, I just want to let you know I have a UTI. Yeah, and she's you like, can't what the fuck, pass why? it to someone. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. It's not contagious. Well, I mean, like, he's also not the brightest person in the world. <laughs> Wait, is, like, it back, is it bacteria? What is it? It's just yeah, bacteria yeah, up in your urethra. Built up in your like, pee like, hole. So you can't give the bacteria to someone else? No, because it would have to go into their urethra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. It's not like Clearly, he's not peeing after sex, which is great but yeah. he told her and then she kind of grilled him like dude what the fuck and then he admitted oh yeah i was fucking this girl without a condom she's like dude what the shit we'd agree we agreed to be safe ew yeah and then so it turned out to be like, like some 21 year old girl who has wait like, didn't he college. learn from your previous experience that's what i'm saying the fuck but like i said not the brightest creature in the world huh wow. and then so he was, wants to be the the part he two he wants to be the next yeah. guy who slept with a million people right in chlamydia part two <laughs> so this girl this 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 the other, you know, the other girl was like, yeah, so I found out that way and you were right. He's so cheap. Like, he, like, demands yeah. for me to buy whatever he yells he about this. He hasn't paid off that. all those attorney uh, yeah. lo student loans yet. And, like, he he has, like, he gets angry if he has to plan anything because he's, like, he forces me to do everything. And I was like, Oof. and at the end she goes, I know you're probably sitting there laughing about this right now, but I should just probably let you know. And I responded, like, yeah, I am <laughs> laughing about this. But I can empathize, you know, whatever. It shit happens, but. Yeah, yeah, every 24-year-old needs a learning lesson. Mm -hmm. I wonder why she had to tell you. Like, why did she feel well, the need to well, tell she, you? She listened to it on the show. Like, mm -hmm. we, ta Gina talked about the situation on the show. Mm -hmm. 
So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but um, yeah, I don't know if I would. He's I'm like, reach out to the ex girlfriend and not yeah, so bright, yeah, I don't, like, yeah, she doesn't have why someone to do her. that. Yeah, it's very, it's very strange. Maybe she felt like you were, um, I don't <laughs> know, Eskimo sisters Validating. or something. Yeah. You, can, you could uh, commiserate, commiserate Ugh. over him together. But it's like, yeah, why would you come to me? I don't That's know. weird. That's that is weird. I don't know. But then I was, I was dying. I was fucking in tears, laughing when I sent yeah. a screenshot to you guys. Um, and then a week later. Um, his ex girlfriend, the one before me, the one that I became friends with. Oh she's yeah, cool yeah. As shit. Like she's awesome. The, the S <coughs> S yeah, name. The one he kept calling you her name. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. So she and I are homies now. It's fucking cool. She fucking blew up my phone a week ago. She goes, Jada, Jada. I'm like, what? She goes, I'm sitting at um, <coughs> it's a it's a shabu restaurant that I love. It's called Mokuji, and she's like, I'm sitting at the bar at Mokuji, and he was walking into the door with some random young little girl looking kind of thing with like, no makeup on mm-hmm. um, and he saw me and turned around and walked out immediately <laughs> and I was like holy shit I wonder what he I told love her all of his exes are friends now yeah, that's right? funny Awkward. You know, you're so toxic that all your exes became friends but like Damn. imagine being so shitty that you can't go to a place yeah because what, I want to know the conversation he had with that girl I know I want to know what he said like yeah. why they can't eat there you know because yeah, exactly. if he if I was that young little child girl and he said, oh, I can't go there because my ex-girlfriend's sitting there, that's going to raise not have some said red that. flags. He would not have said yeah, that. So no, but probably, the girl wouldn't, like, at that age, unless know. she's yeah. very self-aware and smart, mm-hmm. like, she would probably think, oh, yeah, she's a bitch, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, fuck her. I'm yeah. on your side. Mm-hmm. You know, but as you get older, you're that's like, true. yeah, well, yeah. what did you do to her? That's Why can't true. we go in this restaurant? Right. <laughs> right. I mean, so I don't know what he would say. Imagine he's like, oh, we can't go here because I can't afford it and fucking broke Yeah, right. Damn. She was already going to pay anyway right? Right, she was already gonna pay for it it's her turn to pay <laughs> <laughs> she'll Venmo him if he just pays for it yeah. so yeah so she blew up my phone and we were I was fucking cracking up I was like dude imagine if he actually did go in but he didn't have the balls to like no imagine way. being so shitty well, is it like a, one of those restaurants that's only got like a few square feet and it's a really long no room, it's a pretty big stare one at each other it's a pretty big one with an outside patio wow. <laughs> it's like cheesecake factory right. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't even be in the same building right because you know a lot of those shabu restaurants are like just tiny one with long, that table yeah. little tiny yeah and like are you, is he gonna just be like 20 feet from you because i could be like i don't want to sit you know 20 feet from my ex you know like all night it'd be kind of weird <laughs> yeah that was the exciting updates of wow. that i'm randomly getting it's like okay cool. that's hilarious what do you think you would have done if that was you in that restaurant and he walked in oh and he walked in yeah with that little girl I don't know, I oh, like, like if I was uh, yeah, the yeah, ex you were the, the bar? girlfriend. Oh, jeez. me what, now? Or yeah. me you know, right, right now? now. Right now. Stop you cheating ass bitch. <laughs> 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 you better run, little girl. He's like 32. You better run. Oh, shit. Yeah. Did you ever show a, a photo of him? Does anyone know who he is? Probably not, right? She I, did post them on her stories when they I rekindled. Him, yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah. there was I was that. like, hmm. So if anyone who really Someone paid attention. Someone might have caught it. Yeah. But. So if you really paid attention to my story. But it's not know. like the situation with Reed where everyone knew who he was. No, 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 no. Okay. I never outed his name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, there's plenty of other But he was scared of shit, though. He's like, you better not because I'm going to sue you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sue you. <laughs> For what? For telling the truth. Yeah. Oh, I was like, for what? He goes, for, for for defamation. I'm like, do you realize you dated me for two years and I know how to do this and you taught me everything? You <laughs> idiot. From cringing at the pump to getting an eye-popping check at your favorite restaurant, inflation is hitting us all where it hurts. And it really hurts. That's why I started using Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. And with every purchase, I'm earning cash back thanks to Upside. So recently, Casey and I went to Las Vegas. We went on a road trip. We took his Telluride, which means we needed to pump lots of gas. And gas these days is nuts. But luckily, I had my Upside ready to go. And at every station that we stopped by to pump gas, I was earning back cents per gallon like at one particular shell i remember we got like 23 cents per gallon back and since we were on a road trip we also stopped by many restaurants and we i remember getting up to like ten dollars at a mcdonald's once where i'm like whoa this is cool like i honestly thought upside would be too good to be true but it really isn't you guys upside is a no-brainer to get started download the free upside app in the app store or google play Use our promo code BIGMOOD and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, you claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside, you check in at the business, 
you pay as usual with a credit or debit card and you get paid. In comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs, you can earn three times more cash back with Upside. You can cash out anytime to your bank account, PayPal, or an e-gift card for Amazon or other brands. Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. That's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. So download the free Upside app and use promo code BIGMOOD to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. That's $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of ten dollars or more using promo code big mood when you know more you can do more what if you could use science to discover more about your body find out what you need for your healthier tomorrow with everly well everly well is digital health care designed for you all at an affordable and transparent price with over 30 at home lab tests you'll be able to choose a test that makes the most sense for you to get the answers you need like the women's health test or the food sensitivity test that's the one i chose everly well also has high quality vitamins and supplements to support your overall health choose from a variety of options including vitamin d3 and omega-3 fish oil Here's how it works. Everly Well ships products straight to you with everything needed in one package. To take your at-home lab test, simply collect your sample and use the included prepaid shipping label to mail your test back to a certified lab. Your physician-reviewed results get sent to your phone or device in just days. And you can share the results with your primary care physician to help guide your next steps. If you ordered vitamins and supplements, you can start adding them to your daily routine right away. It's so simple, over 1 million people have trusted Everly Well to support their health and wellness goals, and you should too. I actually got the food sensitivity test because I have been having gut issues and I can't figure out why and it's been months and months and months and I'm just like going one way or the other with uh, stomach aches and other types of problems and I'm hoping that I really well can at least help me get started on the process to see what uh, I might be having sensitive reaction to. That way I can just go to my doctor and say, hey, I got this done. What do you think? For listeners of the show, Everly Well is offering a special discount of 20% off an at-home lab test at everlywell.com slash bigmood. That's everlywell.com slash bigmood for 20% off your next at-home lab test. everlywell.com slash bigmood. Which reminds me, are you guys following the Johnny Depp Amber Heard? No. I, haven't lately, I, haven't, I haven't bits really. Bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah, me too. Bits and pieces. Not the whole thing, but... I she's don't know, a it's terrible just, actress. I know she really she's is. She's really bad. Yeah. I'm like, there's no way like she really thinks she's pulling this off. Yeah, like, how? It's really embarrassing. my favorite thing. Well, he's I'm suing her on... right now. Hmm? He's suing her right now. Yeah, when it was all dropped, right? Was it dropped? Like it was it's all a done. defamation case now. I don't know who yeah. brought it back. For I guess defamation. But, um, Johnny Depp is suing for defamation. Yeah, oh, she's suing. Oh, because he lost suing. a lot of money off. He um, lost. Losing yeah, all the jobs. jobs. Yeah, but. Yeah. My favorite thing on, I only go on TikTok right now just to look <laughs> at, at people like commenting on it or clips of the mm-hmm. trial. Mm-hmm. And I love seeing people reenact her testimonies. They're yeah, so funny. so fucking hilarious. It's, it's just, oh but my it's God. But it's also like, I don't know, like you really, and then I've seen also posts about like, it'll be Amber Heard from like this one particular event and then like three other pictures of like women that are, have been battered, like mm-hmm. actually, like. Women that have gone through less than what she claims she went through the day before she took that event oh, photo. Right. And mm-hmm. she's like perfectly fine, like no marks or nothing or just nothing. But then all these other women are like bruised up, like big, like swollen eyes. And like it just makes you think like if she really is lying about all this, like how she's hurting the actual victims, like yeah. how she's fucking it up for people that are actually been abused and then now they have to like fully try to prove themselves because now this bitch is over here lying and making it seem- I mean we don't know for sure though if she is well yeah. if that's what I'm saying if yeah if she is and I can only imagine shitty people will be like yeah no I didn't beat her whatever what if she's just pulling Amber Heard exactly so that yeah that's yeah, right excuse. yeah that's what uh, why I this trial is like hi I don't really like it because it's giving um it's just making it a mockery mm-hmm. of like right these cases right and i do think there is some like sadness to like oh like you know she was believed right away but then and like maybe like Mm -hmm. there are some exceptions where maybe there's like a someone crying wolf you know but it's not like i feel like it's more the exception to the rule but it's now going to be set as a precedent for whatever whatever happens in this is going to set a precedent for what could happen later i do like abuse cases i do like that it's bringing more light to abuse against men you know, yeah. so that's like I like that that's that's happening right now because I have family members that were 
uh, dating crazy bitches and they abuse, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they got yeah. Like, got it's not impossible. Yeah, it does happen. So I'm, I'm glad that it's that's coming out and people are supporting Johnny Depp and not calling him a little bitch, blah, 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 whatever. You yeah. Know? So I like that part of it. Um, there was, I, I did see a TikTok where, what, I don't remember which makeup brand it was. Oh, yeah. I saw that. But. Amber Heard said that she used this certain makeup brand to cover up the bruises back then. Or this, like this, this palette. This palette. And then that makeup brand fucking posted TikTok saying, this shit didn't come out until like two years after that. Oh. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, they they pretty much caught her like, mm-hmm. why the, Why would she even use that? Exactly. Like, I don't understand. Like, she, her, it's just it's such a weird, it's a weird case. Mm-hmm. I feel like I need to dive more into the details. Yeah. Maybe there, we'll do there, a different there episode. There was like huh? a lot of um, like stuff against Johnny, and like he lost in the Europe courts twice. Mm. Like, so I'm like, what? What are we missing here? Yeah, Why is everyone immediately on, on yeah. Johnny's side on now? All side. of a sudden, when he lost for years, oh, I didn't even know, I didn't about know that. that he lost. Oh. Yeah, he lost like two cases in Europe, I think, because oh. they live in the UK or something, right? Oh, or, they, or he does. Yeah, or I don't even did. know. And then why is the the current trial in Virginia or something? Like where? I don't know. Like why? Yeah, I need to know. I need to know more details. Yeah, why are there multiple? I see. I don't know. Weird. I didn't know about that in the yeah, UK. Maybe we can read up more. I kind of just started kinda watching episode on those it later. things were circulating about her shitting in the bed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but honestly, who shits on a bed? Like seriously, you know? Like that's 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 what the hell's going on there? Like I, I I've, I've never been so mad at someone that I would shit on something <laughs> that is not a toilet. You know? That's weird. I'm trying to think if I've ever been. That I don't bad. even think I can shit on command. Exactly. Like, yeah. Either it's there or it's not there. Yeah. Or I don't. I, I live with a lot of anxiety, and so I don't think that it would be like a really happy, like, like swirly, <laughs> like regular uh, shit. It would like, be kind of like an IBS shit. Like, like a little, oh tiny, my God. little rabbit turd, like the little rab- <laughs> rabbit ball oh turd. It wouldn't be when you're traveling yeah. and like you can't get a full poop out. It would be a very effective shit. So it would look like animal turd. It would look turd. like a dog, yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, for Johnny to be like it was human feces, like how did no the maid said it or something? Also, he wasn't I don't there. Think I oh, yeah, shit yeah. when I'm mad too. Like you know, I have to be like relaxed to shit. Yeah. Like I can't. Maybe, back, she, oh, I just went, maybe she took exactly. a drink. Maybe she had a drink. Ooh, pissed the huh. shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should uh, look into it more before speaking too much on it. Yeah. There's yeah. been so many other cases that have come out to people that can shit on command. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn more about this skill. <laughs> That'd be really useful for some like escape situations. Yeah. Like, if I got kidnapped animals, and they're about to rape me, I'm gonna shart myself. Yeah, I, I will like tell you that, that anytime I've ever been either A locked out of my house, which has happened a couple of times, I always immediately have to shit. <laughs> oh. And to B, if I have to be in a certain grocery aisle too long, like I can't find the ingredient, <laughs> what the fuck? I have to shit. What the fuck? <laughs> Weird. Those what are two things fuck? that trigger me. <laughs> Being in the grocery aisle too yeah, long. Yeah, like if I can't find the fucking item and I'm in the aisle too long you're like where <laughs> is shit. millions where is of years where's the confectioner sugar <laughs> millions of years of evolution has done this to you that's what that's what yeah, i'm doing like, <laughs> if i'm like god i'm really constipated i gotta go nope i gotta get locked out of my house or be in an aisle too long <laughs> somewhere out there back then during hunter and gatherer years there's nikki's ancestors who are shitting because they can't find the right berries together <laughs> they're the like wrong was bush this that yeah no, that was the poison yeah. What berry? <laughs> oh, God damn, I gotta be here. Like, look at these berries for so long. <laughs> that is too long, shit. too. Like, I wanna know your like, actual like time. 15 minutes. Oh, my God. oh fuck. Like, like take I'm, 15 minutes. I was asking one, 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 one. Right? Yeah, like, I'm looking and, like, why I, would you look for 15 minutes? It's happened. Ask someone. So you yeah. don't shit yourself. I could, but well, what if I have to shit and I ask someone to <laughs> show me and I'm like, I gotta go. <laughs> You're a strange little thing. Wow. That is hilarious. That is a funny day. Yeah. Like, That's a funny over Nikki here. Fact I'm like, now. I yeah. don't know. Is it over there? They're like, well, man, let's look over here. I'm like, ah. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I gotta go to the bathroom. So then what do you do? do? Why don't you just say I'll be right back? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> They're like, bitch, I'm trying to find this can of oh beans for you. What the fuck? That's so awesome. <laughs> You're worried oh, too much about shit that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, that happens. Oh, I just don't want someone to be time. talking to me. I want to test this out now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Please like, I want to run this in, my a, home. in a controlled experiment. One, we lock her out of her home. And two, we send her into a market to find something that we know is out there. Wait, let's, where let's do you shit when tonight. you're locked out of your home? So it's, it usually <laughs> happened in childhood because um, oh. I was a latchkey kid and I sometimes forgot to bring. I have ADD. I forget to bring the house uh, key. Yeah, we know. So then I'm like locked out and I'm like, shit, I'm going to be out here until 5 p.m. when my parents come home. And I'm like, I immediately have to shit now. <laughs> it's like this pit in my stomach that's like, oh no, like I don't have control over this situation. Oh, no. I need to, I am emptying my bowels Your now. Your parents probably thought the neighbor's dog kept shitting on their lawn this whole time. <laughs> well, did you I, ever poop I would go outside? In a bush. Tell me the truth. Is a bush. You like, would. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've that shit bush outside is like so many the times. most beautiful flowers I've, I've shit on hiking. <laughs> I always have to shit at the top of hiking trails, like where there's no Excuse bathroom. Excuse me. Oh, like, my God. There's no wow. bathroom anywhere. You're a very <laughs> inconvenient shitter. That's what you are. That I, that I blamed that on like houseless people. That was just you. It's just right? me. I just, I'm like, whenever it's the most inconvenient. You were time. the fucking shit jogger. Remember a few years ago? <laughs> there was a jogger that kept shitting in people's houses. Oh <laughs> Turn my yourself God. in. No, it was a guy, wasn't it? He was like a school principal remember. or something. But, okay, the couple of times I've shit on a hanging trail, it did come out like a swirl. It like, does? Yeah, it was like that. I was like, what I was pretty impressed swirl? by it. I was like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever taken a swirl. Yeah, I've never like taken that. a swirl poop. I thought that was only in cartoons and <laughs> anime. What the hell? My dogs don't take swirly shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my my dog's yes. pooping it just you like see what Amber Turd did. Amber line. Turd. Amber, Amber Turd. Turd. Amber <laughs> talking about Turd. Yeah. Oh oh I guess I'm just that. saying I could definitely never shit in the bed. That's the that's the hashtag. That name's never days. gonna go away. Oh, Amber man. Turd. Don't call yeah. that. That's, that's mean. That's never gonna go away. It hashtagged everywhere. Oh, it's hashtag everywhere. <laughs> I mean, if she really did beat him, then fucking call her that all day. I don't give a shit. I don't know. No. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I don't I mean if you really did shit in the bed, you should be called that. Yeah. For sure. That's your nickname. I guess now. if you really did take you a shit. I can't imagine yeah. Amber really taking Even if shit you're a good person and you shit the bed and now that's your name. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's yeah. Your so name. have you ever yeah. shit the bed? <laughs> Me no, I can't. I just said I I would I don't can't shit on command. I have to be trapped somewhere. We yeah. have to move the bed we're outside. Trap you out. Yeah. Trap you out. <laughs> I've seen pictures of people shit outside. I've seen pictures the HOA of was who, like, is gonna give me a citation. Yeah. <laughs> it's a violation. Yeah. I've seen pictures of people who get so drunk that they pass out and shit and piss themselves. I'm like, dude, what? I've never I've been, been so drunk, drunk before, yeah. but I've never done that. Yeah, no. I've never pissed myself. You I know? think that means they yeah. lost consciousness entirely, right? I don't know. Like for How or they much? had to go poop before they got drunk. Oh, probably. <laughs> they it in. Do people in comas <laughs> shit? Probably. I don't know. They're, they they, just have to, like, they get a catheter and like a shit bag, right? Maybe like a tube or a bedpan. They get a bedpan. No, huh. in a coma? Maybe. No, because you have to sit up to. No, you don't. Squeeze I, out. The bedpan. I used the pet bedpan for the first time in my life when I was in labor with Luca. Where do they put it? They just put it under your butt. You so just, you like just, I'm literally laying down with a pan under my butt, and I had to how? pee, and it was fucking weird. That's weird. I yeah. when I, I thought I had one. It's because I couldn't. And I, you have to like kind of get up and get into it. No, yeah, yeah. I had, I yeah, but if you're in a coma, you don't get up. No, I mean they'll. Probably they help or something. I, I think don't know. they no, put the shit push. bag in their stomach. No, they stomach. probably have diapers. I don't know. Don't they put the shit bag? The no. shit bag. It's colostomy. It's colostomy bag. bag. Yeah. They, they I don't think they do that. No. They're not. They're not cutting holes <laughs> for in. someone in a coma. I don't think so. This. I think it's they probably put them a diaper. In a diaper. God, I think it's a diaper. Now I have to yeah, Google it because now I need to know what happens to people in a coma. Yeah, what happens to me every day is that I'm thinking about we're talking about Amber Heard and I'm like, how do people in coma shit? And then I go into a fucking first fucking film. How do coma patients poop? Like I guess people. What is it? Google this all the time. I'm pretty sure it's a diaper. Okay. Okay. Bedpan was um, very you uncomfortable. in a hospital before, so food is given I didn't via, work with patients. Food is given via tube. Okay, um, I know catheters for pee for sure. Why isn't there an easy answer right away with know, this many seriously. people googling it? Yeah, like you'd think there'd be a Should standard be like a Quora way. Quora fucking just, yeah, <laughs> Quora response. I know, just fucking yes. <laughs> just well, answer the Quora. question. Internet. Dude, I swear to God, Quora. We were talking about this last night. Quora like sends me the randomest things, like randomest prompts. I don't know what I was searching. A lot of them are from India too. A lot of them for India. Yeah. What the fuck is that? I don't know. From India. Oh, like they're okay. They're so yes, they shit. still poop. Most are given a stool softener, so it will pass easily. So ninety percent of the time, their poop is the consistency of gravy. Some patients Ooh. wear adult diapers, which are pretty difficult to get situated correctly on someone that is unconscious. So there yeah. are special pads and linens that we place under their ass to help catch the poop. Oh, um, I did have one of those so pads. They just, they just in my bed too. Like, like those, it's a, like a dog a poop pad, a dog, like the dog, you have dog pads. Pad. Yeah, pee pad. Yeah, 
They put it under. You poo-pooed on a pee pad? But no, this I didn't. didn't but this but the, they had it there for the leakage. But this no. did not happen or always catch at all. I had patients that shit in the floor or shit the floor without leaving the bed. Sometimes a patient How? would shit three or four times in a shift. It's a lot of fun when it happens multiple patients across the 12 bed ICU. Oh, it's just Ooh. so much poop. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck aren't they given a colostomy bag? Because you have to cut a, the infection rates, girl. Come on. They're in a coma. You want to just clean shit that's flying well, out no from these wants unconscious to, you can't people invade someone's body with a knife yeah. what <laughs> in a i mean you can but it's not legal also who knows how long they'll be in the coma what if it's like a two-day coma and you fucking get them a colostomy back how for life how often are two-day comas can't you Google put a it? tube up someone's butt isn't that a oh god no. i don't think so isn't that a, what is that a, a, it's an called animal a, thing yeah, like, can't no they, um oh no the, but then what the poop's the too scope? big it doesn't fit the yeah. No, no, rectum, like, <laughs> what if it squeezes out? Or- <laughs> it permanently loosens your rectum. Jesus, and it pushes the poop, pushes the tube back <laughs> out. <laughs> and this is why we're not doctors. Or it could be like a funnel thing that you stick oh, on God. your butthole. Oh, my hole. God. Or like, this is the poo episode yeah. forever now. Jesus Christ. What did you we guys, start with? We I started with dating, and, ended with dating oh, yeah. and ended with poo. Poop. Oh, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Would okay. you guys ever poop on someone's chest? No. Um, how about we say that for the next episode? <laughs> Again, <laughs> how do people poop on command? Yeah. How do they do it? And then be aroused by it. You like this, babe? You want me to shit on your chest? How do you have shit ready to go? Because you can time it. If you take, why do I act like I know? <laughs> you can well, you take, have like that. You can take a Sienna, whatever that fucking le- leaf pill. Those like huh? those laxative pills. It's like oh, Sienna you gotta leaf commit, huh? Wow. You, okay, like, but then like, what if you're in the middle take of the foreplay part? You're the foreplay part. You're like, oh, uh, it's happening. Yeah. 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 <laughs> then you just skip to the How do you time it? How do you time it? You know exactly. That's what I'm saying. Well, if you time it too late, it's like ugh, shitting on command is a skill. Yes or no? Leave us a comment. Right. <laughs> and then how often do you guys text i don't know anymore man just fucking watch the episode <laughs> you have to you have to practice that skill i i don't know maybe a certain diet maybe a certain diet <laughs> you could probably train it yeah with the, and you'd have to have enough fiber that it can oh god all right guys well thank you for watching <laughs> uh make sure to check out our sponsors yeah, leave, leave, it, uh, leave your we, comments we, we below sponsored by tushy before there's yeah. a lot for you to comment on So get into the discussion. We love you. Bye. Okay, bye.